And Keith from my repair here autos. Before we get started with today's video, I'm giving away a shirt and it says the garage where manly men do manly things. I'm giving away a shirt to a subscriber. You have to be a subscriber. Just comment down below in this video saying, hey, I would like to win that shirt. I'm going to choose at random one winner, which, are, which I will announce on Friday, this Friday coming. To be eligible to win this shirt, you must reside in the continental US. To the video. And this week's video is gonna talk about a fuel gauge issue. And it's from VTOPS N-I-G-L-T. And he says, why is my fuel gauge not working? I have a Mercedes-Benz ML350 4Matic. How do I fix it? So I'm gonna go into this. I'm gonna get into this a little bit more with details, diagnostics, showing you how those gauges work. And uh, let's get to it and get this thing fixed. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so we're looking at the oil pump off of an ML350. And in it, the pump sits at the base right here. This is the pump. And at the bottom, there's the filter, fuel filter, screen, and here are your electrical fittings, right? Plugs in. But it gets its voltage from up top. And to be more precise, this electrical fitting plugs in under here like this. Okay. And it sits like that. So here's your fuel pump, and on the uh, in the Mercedes, there's a fuel pump on one half because the tank is separated into two halves, and there is a float on the other side as well. So what happens and how the pump works when you fill your car with gas? This float right here registers the height of the fluid, the gasoline and that gets converted into voltage based off of the resistance as this goes up when a full tank of gas and it comes down as a um, gas tank or when the gas gets uh, consumed. Now, most of the time what happens is the contacts inside for the uh, float gets corroded, worn out, damaged the pins and you may not get a, a reading past a certain um, level in the gas tank so when the gas gets to half a tank it stays at half a tank it never registers lower than half a tank for example um, another thing that may happen inside the gas tank you may have some kind of debris that the float gets hung upon in some rare cases, I've seen where the, the actual float has been damaged and no longer floats. Um, gasoline would get inside. It used to be hollow. Now it's no longer hollow. So it could be for any of those reasons that I've mentioned thus far. The most common reason is the little electronic contacts inside the pump itself gets damaged. And the only option is to replace the fuel pump. Um, I'm going to show you how to diagnose because, like I said, there are two halves to this. This is the fuel pump side. The other side is the filter, but they both have floats, so that it registers half and half. And um, any of these components can go bad. The right side pump, the left side um, secondary. So let's get started, and I'm going to show you how to see which side is bad or if both sides are bad. Um, I have a video that shows you how to remove the fuel pump description in the upper right corner. 
and uh, tend to get started with the diagnostics with the Ice Star or the Ice Soft scanner. If you don't have one, be sure to grab one. It's worth its weight in gold. That's also found in the description below. So we're going to start off by putting the key in the ignition, putting it into position two. I have the scanner plugged in and it comes up with diagnose mode first. So I'm going to say OK. I'm going to push the OK button. And then I'm going to choose uh, Mercedes. Uh, I'm going to choose Benz. So we'll say OK. Then I'm going to go down to 164. M class, say OK. Gasoline engine, left hand steering, ML350 in my case. I'm going to go down to manual select and I'm going to go to where it says rear SAM. So I'm going to keep looking for rear SAM and there is a rear SAM. Right there, say okay. Then I'm gonna go down to um, I'm gonna go to read fault memory. Input of circuit 15 has short circuit to ground, okay? And I was messing around with um, the fuel pump in a video two back when I did the uh, fuel pump replacement. So we're going to get these errors, but in your case, you will get these as well. Control module A1 instrument cluster is not seeing or sending any data. Fuel gauge sensor left half of tank is faulty or the line to the component has an open circuit. So it's actually telling you which side has the issue. In this case, there's another issue right half of tank is faulty or the line to the component has an open circuit so when you're getting these bad readings on your cluster you know you're not getting an accurate gas reading you're gonna get any one of these four you'll probably definitely get the instrument cluster error DTC you're also going to get which side of the tank. In my case, I disconnected both sides. So you're getting both left and right side. All right, so that's how you determine what is going on with your cluster and your fuel gauge. Now, once the problem has been fixed, you're going to come in and you're going to clear the fault memory. But before you clear the fault memory, you want to look at the actual values in real time. And I'm going to go down to fuel tank sensor to look at those values in real time. And I'm getting 158 for the left and 210 for the right, which works out right around quarter of a tank. So I'm going to escape out of that. Escape out of that one more time. I'm going to go up and I'm going to clear the fault memory by saying OK. Yep. Say OK again. Now I'm going to go down to actual values. Go down to fuel tank sensor. Same values. Say OK. Escape out of there. Escape out of there again. Go back up to read fault memory. No DTCs. As always everyone don't forget to like share subscribe to my channel if you find these videos helpful what that does it pushes my videos up in the search results so that other Mercedes owners drivers do-it-yourselfers can find them easier thanks and peace out